So the first thing that you have to do is to open any browser on your phone or any PC and then type in www.napsa.co.za After you've, you've punched in www.napsa, all those, what will happen is this window will pop up and then you need to click on online services. After you're done with that, another window will pop up which will actually bring you this and you need to scroll down till you find this part which says claim pre-retirement benefit. When you're done, click on that. And then this other window will open. This is where now you're going to enter your details, your social security number. And then you're going to enter the password which you had created when you were signing up for NAPSA. When you're done, click on login. This window will actually be in front of you the moment you click on that one. So now here, where do you go? First of all, you don't need to, to, to rush into clicking make a claim. Come here where it says KYC status. In full, that means know your client status. Okay, so now click on that. When you do that, you will be faced by this window. So here, move on to this uh, colored or colorful uh, segment where there is national registration card, but obviously this may have been confirmed when you are signing up for NAPSA. The mobile number may have been uh, confirmed, date of birth, as well as the names. These actually confirmed when you are signing up for NAPSA. And then <sighs> the only two parts with crosses are the ones you have to deal with. So click review, and this will now bring you here where you're going to set up the payment mode. Do you want to be paid your cash through your Airtel money account, your MTN, Zamtel, the mobile account? So you want to set up the, the bank account through which they are going to pay you. So it's from here that you're going to do all those. So you can actually set up your number there, you punch it in, and then you punch in your bank account, the branch, and the account number. Okay. What kind of a bank did you open the account with? And then um, your name, of course, we will actually have to show here. And then when you're done, Make sure you enter the correct details, otherwise your money will go elsewhere. And nowadays, nobody can send you back the money. The economy is biting. So submit. When you submit, there will be an OTP that will be sent on your mobile phone. That is the one-time PIN. So make sure that you come back here and enter it. Check it on your phone and then you come back here and enter it. Then you verify. When you are done, you will be brought back here and there will be something pending here saying employment history. So you have to deal with this one as well. So I'll click review and then you will be brought here. When you come here, make sure you enter the employer's name, the town where you're employed from, the date when you started working for that company, and when you're likely to retire or to resign. And then if you have had more than two or three employers, you still will have to come back here, which says add employment history, and you need to add all those. Okay, so when you're done, submit employment history. Okay, so now when you're done here, don't rush into going to make a claim because you'll still be told there are pending issues. So come here where it says flagged issues. Click that and this window open up. Now, now, this is the part that most of the people get stuck at. So here, you've seen all this. There will be numbers here. If there are about 139 trade contributions that will show here and multiple contributions we show here, click on them one by one. Even this side, they may show. But if there are no issues here, you may only see numbers on one of those options, straight contributions. For me, they were about 139, so I clicked on that. And when you click on this, 
another window will open where you have to make corrections. Now I'll, I'll show you how you have to make corrections on that window. So now after you've opened, then this one pops up. What you're going to do is you're going to check through. They're saying kindly review the contributions below that have been marked as true. Please indicate in, indicate in the did you work column whether you worked in that month or not by selecting either no. I did not. Oh, yes, I did. Attach proof that worked for the month. Stray EG, pay slip, employment contract, termination letter. Okay, so, okay. so let's do this. So you came here. This is 2013-01, Ministry of Education West. So we are coming here. So, yes, I did. Ministry of Education, that is, okay. Yes, I did. I worked through all these months. Yes, I did. Okay, so when you're done, you move on to the next. Okay. So you're scrolling up. Okay, so you have to make sure that you finish up all these. And then when you're done, when you're done, you need to actually submit everything here now. Okay. So now after you're done, what you need to do next is uh, you go back to the drawing board where you had started from. And then you come here that is, you move your cursor, hover over this part which says current grosser. This is the amount of money which, which actually reflects on your payslip before any deductions are made. So you punch everything here. But after you're done with that, you can now click calculate estimations. And then they'll show you the amount of money that you're likely to get after you claim. So now when this is done, you, you're comfy with the amount of money that, that, that has reflected. And you're like, okay, I, I can have this one for now. You can now hit claim. When you click claim, there will be a notification that... Uh, everything has actually been submitted and you will begin now to wait for for your money.